welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Today is Sunday. I am so excited because right now I'm going to the Nespresso store and I didn't even know there was one located like in my area, but there is. So I don't even have to order them online. But if they don't have a lot of the flavors that I'm looking for, I will end up probably ordering some online. It's nice that I could just go over to the Nespresso store and pick some pods up. I don't know what their inventory is like or anything like that, but I took a picture of my cart because I've I've had like pods sitting in my cart ready to purchase. And I like to buy my pods in bulk because I kind of just don't want to have to think about ordering coffee so I'm probably gonna order a significant amount or go and pick up a significant amount just so I don't have to worry about it for a few months and I have all my favorite pods and yeah okay I just got back so I bought a lot of pods I bought 16 boxes and I got two boxes for free so I got a lot of the ones that I usually drink and then I, I got some to try <laughs> look at all these pods <laughs> okay so I got my favorite Nespresso pod is the Bianco like Leggero it looks like this it's my favorite pod it's I think it's a shot of espresso and it's made to be mixed with milk. The, it's, I think it's sweet, what is it? Caramel and biscuit are the tastes or the flavors. I got eight of those um, because it's just my favorite one. I reach for it all the time and I just savor them. So I got eight. Um, so that's my number one favorite. So my favorite single shot of espresso is Altiso. Looks like this. It's just a small shot. I think I have one. It's just a really small shot of espresso. And here, let me show you. I think I have one of these two. This is the Bianco Leggero pod. And then the, my favorite coffee is the Malazio. So it's just a regular coffee pod. What's the flavor notes? Ah, uh, cereal is the flavor. So that one's good. Altiso, the single shot of espresso. The flavor notes is cereal too and roasted. So I guess we're on a trend of cereal. And then this one is my favorite double shot of espresso. They have two types of double shots. I like the Chiro. It looks like this. This is what the pod looks like. It's like a golden. And then I have four boxes of, I think these are just coffees that I'm trying out to see if I like them. And they also gave me some, okay. The caramel cookie coffee, hazelnut muffin coffee. So pumpkin spice cake, which I'm excited to try out. This one, I've never tried before. I didn't even think about trying it. It was, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's the name of it. And it's their first organic coffee. She was telling me about it. And she said that it's comparable to the Malazio coffee, which is my favorite um, coffee, but it's a little bit sweeter. So I thought that would be good to try. So I'm giving this a try as well. So I got a bunch of different coffees, even though I'm a huge espresso shot person, um, I wanted to try a few flavored coffees. And then I got some of the ice forte, right? Yes. Oh wait, what's this one? Okay, so yeah, ice forte, which is their um, coffee that's made to be mixed in ice. I wanted to buy a box of these, but they didn't have any of them. Yeah, so they gave me those for free, and then I got two recycling bags. So a lot of coffee, but those are my favorites. I, believe it or not, have gotten questions on what my favorite Nespresso pods are, because there is 
such a huge list of Nespresso pods and flavors. And yeah, this one is definitely my favorite. So if you're looking for a new Nespresso pod or you're wondering a good one, this one is so good. And then just the generic coffee one, I think is good. This is like a good in-between coffee um, flavor. It's not too strong and not too light. It's like the perfect medium roast coffee. Yeah, that's my little Nespresso haul. This is the only fall decor I need. Okay, it is a lot later in the day. I just wanted to vlog really quick. I obviously changed into a sweatshirt. It's raining outside, but um, we were watching um, football. Well, Christian was, I wasn't. And now we're going to get Lazy Moon, and I wonder if Lazy Moon is everywhere. I know it's- No, it's not. It's not? No. It's only here? Yes. Okay, well, the pizza is basically the size of your, or both of your legs put together. Half of them. What's a good comparison? It's the size of this bag. Right? It basically is the size of this bag. Each slice of pizza. So we're going there and we're picking up Christian's old roommate, which is one of his closest friends, AP. But yeah, so we're picking him up and he's joining us to go to Lazy Moon. And I will show you what the pizza looks like when we finally get it. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Uh. <laughs> Hello from the floor of my closet and my unmade bed. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging and I wanted to, and also my hair. I just quickly clipped that because I'm about to get in the shower. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging and I wanted to end off this video. Even though this video was literally all about coffee. <laughs> Basically. Um, yeah. But I don't have to worry about buying coffee for like four or five months. So that's a big perk. Um, I'm really excited to try the pumpkin spice cake tomorrow morning. So... I know you saw that pizza from Lazy Moon and how big it was, but I guess Lazy Moon's only in Central Florida, but I posted a YouTube video today, which I haven't posted on the past two Sundays, just because I've been, like, feeling like a, I don't know, just a little bit, like, unmotivated or, like, uninspired, and I'll edit a video and... I just won't think it's like good enough to post and I don't know I'm just like being hard on myself when it comes to YouTube so I don't know I need to not stress about it too much because it's really just like not that serious and I can post whatever I obviously want to post and I don't know I just need to not take it so seriously I don't know what I'm trying to say I feel like I was like trying to be perfect at it or I'm trying to be perfect at it and I realize like that's not what it's about. I just need to realize that this YouTube channel is like for me. So I think I could use this lesson in a lot of different aspects of my life. Do the best you can and don't try and be perfect at everything because if you're chasing perfection you'll never be satisfied and life is not about being perfect so or doing perfect or anything like that. It's doing you and that's enough regardless of what it is. And just know if like you're feeling uninspired or unmotivated, it's okay to feel like the way that you're feeling 
it's just a weird time so and everything's always gonna be okay it's like that's that super cheesy quote it's like if it's not okay it's not the end every single part of your life is a journey and a lesson and we're constantly learning new things each day and growing and becoming our best selves and it's okay to hit highs and lows during life and slopes of being very productive and not productive and feeling your best and not feeling your best and it's all okay because there's beauty in that great things come out of um being unmotivated and being feeling low and feeling down because there's always going to be a new day for new things and new experiences and highs so yeah I've just been feeling unmotivated with YouTube but it's okay I feel really inspired some days and I feel really uninspired other days but that's life so I've come to realize that it's okay <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up it really supports my channel and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye